Hello again. Well, knowing that the wife wouldn't be here today, yesterday I went uh, digging in the freezer and came up with this uh, nine pound pork roast or Boston butt. So I thought I'd surprise her and uh, have it ready for when she gets back. Before we do that though, before we start cooking it, uh, we need to add our, our seasoning. Now Cajun cooking is all about the seasoning. So I'm gonna show you how to make an injector solution that'll uh, make this roast one to remember. Now in uh, typical male cooking fashion, uh, we're gonna pretty much use everything that was in the cabinet. Uh, we're gonna start out with about a pint and a half of filtered water. And the reason I use a pint and a half, well there's two reasons. One, I wanna dilute the seasoning as much as possible so we don't get any, any hot spots in the meat where you have a whole lot of seasoning in this bite and none in the next. Uh, the second reason is, and I guess it's still part of the first, is I'm gonna shoot this thing up, that roast up, uh, just about every spot I can stick that needle in. So we'll have a uniform flavor throughout the whole piece of meat. All right, with our water in, we're gonna add a little olive oil. Very carefully measured, as you can see. And then to that, some Louisiana hot sauce. Now this particular hot sauce, I love it because it's not just hot, you actually taste the peppers. Gives it a good flavor. And of course, some Louisiana cayenne pepper. We're gonna put about a good heaping teaspoon in there. And yeah, maybe a little more. And of course, pork loves garlic. We're gonna put a little garlic powder in there. Now the, the ingredients you wanna use you want to make sure that they'll dissolve because you want this stuff to go through that needle and not clog it up. Here's some uh, little onion powder. And just for good measure, some good old Tony's seasoning. And, uh, oh, forgot, some salt. Couple of tape, teaspoons. Okay, now we're gonna put this on the stove and put a little heat to it. Constantly stirring to dissolve all this stuff. Now you wanna put this on about medium heat and it really doesn't take very long for this stuff to dissolve. I think we just about got it there. We're gonna let that cool a bit, then we're gonna inject our roast. All right, let's season this bad boy. We've uh, put our solution in a glass 
measuring bowl. That way we can uh, get it out a little easier with our needle. I notice as I push the plunger, I'm pulling the needle out, trying to distribute the seasoning as evenly as possible. And I'm gonna inject it at about every inch, or as close as I can get to it. You'll see the meat swell up sometimes. Now don't forget to keep stirring your solution. I try to go as deep as possible. In fact, sometimes you can feel the bone. And don't be uh, too concerned if you see it dripping out. You're getting some in there, believe me. And you just continue this all the way around the sides. And uh, the other side of this meat has uh, the skin. Don't worry, your needle will go through that too. Okay, now that we finished injecting the meat, we're going to sprinkle a little Tony's, Tony Sashra's Creole seasoning on both sides. It'll then go in the refrigerator, oh, for I guess about four hours at least, and let all that seasoning snow soak up, and it's going to be good. Now, you can do this with turkey. You can do this with whole chickens, uh, really any big chunk of meat works great. Uh, we're not going to put this on the barbecue pit and we're not going to put it in the oven. I'm going to show you a, a cooker that I bought last year. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator and in the, the next segment we're going to put it in the cooker.